Hello everyone, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and today I think I'm going to do an Eden run. Yes, yes I am. Let's see what we start with. On the basement? Uh, of course not. Okay, we have Big Fan, we have Unicorn Stump, 2 Red HP, Pinky Eye Trinket, no consumables, DW42NZD6, I wish I had the D6, is our seed, and our stats are actually pretty good other than speed, right, and shot speed? No, our shot speed is actually good, it's just our... Our walking speed is a little bit dodgy. Hang on. Oh yeah, Big Fan does do contact damage. Oh, not very much though. Also, that was weird. <laughs> so, uh, sadly, I won't be murdering every single room. If we'd started with Sacrificial Dagger instead of Big Fan, we'd be set for the entire game. Also, that bullshit right there. Hmm, I could use it to walk into there. I'd rather wait until there was a heart on the floor, to be honest. Oh yeah? Well, what about that? It does do reasonable damage. Stigmata. Damage and HP. It's an empty heart, though. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's a full heart. Fantastic. Alright. I'm still definitely going to be prioritising getting Sacrificial Dagger, though. That plus the Unicorn Stump is just amazing. Oh yeah, all of you can sod right off. The music is stopping entirely. That should not be doing that. There's something weird going on. Unless I just can't hear it because I have my hoodie up because it's freezing. Although I do have my headset on, incidentally. It's just I have my hoodie on over it. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Damn. Can't get this. Well, we are just going to invincibility ourselves out of there. Because I want to maintain the spirit heart I got now. For our deal with the devil on the next floor, uh, we just need our boss now because the shop's not going to be worth it, not that we can get it anyway. This will give us a reroll for it. Okay. Oh, I should have knocked, what am I doing? I should have knocked it up or down to try for the second secret room. Haunt, right. When do I use my one period of invincibility? I think it's to get rid of the two ghosts. Yeah. Oh, come on, big fan. Come on. Come on. Yes. I mean, we still might get hit, yeah. But there's more chance of me getting hit by the little shits than there is the haunt himself. Also, if we could get poison on him, that would be handy. Shit. Big fan! You forsook me! The one little gap he got through. Of course, that is the problem with Big Fan. He rotates very slowly. Cuba Meat actually does good contact damage as well, I believe. So we'd be looking to pick that up from a horseman. Stigmata is helping out a whole lot though. Dice poison. No, no way. Alright, what do we get? Speed and range. Yeah, okay. Not that I could reroll it anyway. But I mean, if it was experimental treatment, I would have probably just left it. Of course it's another seller. Maya, get out of the corner. Hi. Um, I'll go in the curse room if I lose the half spirit heart. If not, I'd rather maintain it for the boss. As I say, I want to deal with the devil and I want sacrificial dagger. And then we've got a nice melee based run. Uh, I can't do that even if I wanted to, which I kind of do. Blow up here. Alright, secret room isn't there I guess. Oi, over here. Over here. Over in, in this little gap. Yeah! Oh. Damn it. Well. We lost the spirit heart. We just got... Oh. No wait, no. Swallow penny is when you get hit. Never mind. Um, yeah, we'll go in the curse room now. Need keys, actually. Let's clear this room first. Oh. Never seen this room before. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha I should have saw that coming. Okay, let's not do the curse room yet unless I can get a red heart somewhere. Also, I really don't want to have to miss an item room, so please give me a key. Alright, that went well. This room is normally the bane of my existence, but thanks to Unicorn Sub Big Fan, we handled it pretty well. Don't die. I like this run so far. Took some silly damage in that room I'd never seen before. Obviously, now remember. Why did that explode? Did I fire one of my stray shots in that direction? No keys, seriously? Like, seriously, though? Well, uh, we could get some red hearts from the poops, mind you, so we'll have to destroy those. Try and mix it into the fight, so I don't need to do both at the same time. 
Oh, sorry, so I don't have to do both separately. Do them both at the same time, that's good. Alright, we've got more money. Key? Come on now. One key! Although, if I had to choose between the shop and the item room, with this much money, I would pick the shop. I feel. There might be a key in there, is my thinking. A heart, a spirit heart. It's our luck. Yeah, that's per usual. I think our luck is always one. Key? Key? Come on, please. Well, we might just die to this boss, I guess. Let's see who it is. Alright, uh, that would be very embarrassing if that did indeed happen. Plus, we have a bomb for this tinted rock down here, so let's just do that. Don't knock my... Thank you. Did this work well? Eh, not really. Sadly, Pin doesn't get damaged by his own explosions anymore, otherwise that definitely would have killed him. Monday with the devil with sacrificial dagger. Nope, just the tears up. No key. So we're missing out on the item room. I'm not going to risk the curse room. That sucks. It should not be a thing that you can miss an item room. But, well, through your own blight. Oh, it's double floor. Through your own wasteful spending of keys, fine. I haven't had a single one. First floor didn't get any, right? Because, I mean, the dining room's open on that floor. So, yeah, I just haven't had a single key drop. That's that's all it is. Oh, good, a key. Although we need three in total for this floor. We are at the shop and I am going to go in it. We still have enough money that I feel it's worthwhile. Don't be greened. It's, just, it's a library. Okay. Book of Revelations is good, although we've missed our chance at getting Ball of Bandages, sadly. Satanic Bible is better. We'll use that for a spirit heart. Since we don't have Sacrificial Dagger, I'm taking Satanic Bible. If we do get Sacrificial Dagger on this boss, or hell, on one of the item rooms, that was terrible damage, I can still go back. There's nothing stopping me going back for it. But yeah, I like this as a health generating item, plus it's apparently our luck is just massively negative because we're not getting any consumables at the end of rooms. Maya, where did you go? Why are you in that corner again? What is this, what is special about that corner? Can you clue me in? Is there something hidden there that I don't know about? It'd be very confusing because there's not usually anything in that corner. No, oh, she's back to checking that corner. She's determined to prove me wrong, clearly. She's like, there's there's stuff here. I'll show you. Maya, get your nose away from the wires now. Come on. You're going to get me hit. And this run isn't comfortable enough to take silly damage. He might drop a spirit heart when he dies. Or some allied spiders. Unless he died. Maya, you're touching the wire again. Come on. Out. Another key. Good. So that'll be one of our item... Oh, well, hang on. There's the actual shop. Would really rather like that spirit heart as well, actually. Hmm. We are just going to go in the shop. We are. And it's going to be great. Just just you wait. That's that's the way this is going. I feel it in my bones. Also, we'll shoot these. Oh, we got another key anyway. So if it is great, it's not a total loss. Alright, humbling bundle helps because we're getting shit, but now if we do get a random rare drop, it'll be doubled, like so. We'll buy the spirit heart, we'll buy the key, we'll buy the bomb. Did I just buy a... I bought the battery instead, what the hell is wrong with me? I must admit, I'm not feeling 100%. I had takeaway last night and I think it was bad. I have felt rotten all morning, that's why I'm actually recording on what is usually my day off, I want it distracted. Rage, fantastic! Now, is that better or worse with Unicorn Stump? I feel lucky. Yeah, alright, well, it was an item. I shouldn't act like consumables aren't going to be a problem now just because I got Humbling Bundle. Also, if you heard that, that was Maya squeaking her duck toy and now she's licking herself. Well, I suppose that's preferable to her bringing it. Nope, never mind, she's squeaking it again. And again. Yeah, I know you're doing that. Also, that was a great drop. Thank you, Humbling Bundle. Although, it would have been one key anyway, but Humbling Bundle made it two. I can't throw that for you right now, Maya. <sighs> Thank you, big fan. Need to wait a little bit. By which I mean, like, half an hour minimum. Because this run isn't very fast. Especially when I buy batteries when I mean to buy bombs. 
Oh. Yeah, as I say, I feel rotten. I've not eaten a thing today. I've just had, like, orange juice and stuff to try and feel better. You sniped me. You deserved that. Oh, yeah, we still need red hearts. <laughs> Alright, we still need one more. Well, on the plus side, but thanks to double money drops, we should be able to afford the bomb if one more money drop occurs. Oh, or if I get the ability to fly. Would have loved unicorn stump for this room. Can't actually get that battery without taking damage, but it would account for the damage I would take to grab the money. Oh, I actually did that without getting hit. But good. I'm glad. So we found our boss fights, but we still haven't found one of our item rooms and... Damn it. Don't look at the map until everything is dead. I always make that mistake. Although this is helping Rage, I forgot. So we'll kill our bosses now. Very Junior, don't sit still. Don't go back on yourself. Like I just did there, although that's because she stopped to summon. Still not doing great damage, despite we got hit a few times, right? So we have got a bit of rage built up. Sadly, the poison shots from Pinky's eye, they last like three seconds. It's, it's pretty bad. I don't remember it being that bad in the original. All right, first boss gives us a bunch of pills. What's all this then? I can see forever. Good pill. That's another one sitting there. Tears down. Bad pill, but we had a big tears up, so that's okay. 40 hour energy is great. We'll just generate a bunch of black hearts. So we will go back and get our secret rooms. We'll keep that for the next floor. We've got a tanky boss, which is bad. Especially when he does his insta jumps, although I was close to him, so that's fine. We won't take red heart damage in here. Yeah, make me stronger. I want to kill you faster. That's the plus point. We need to deal with the devil, though. Give it to me, I need it. Alright, and we got a good item there as well. No sacrificial dagger, sadly. We will take contract from below, however, and we will ignore the rest. Since I have Satanic Bible, that's basically... Well, is it better than the nail? Um, you could argue argue the nail is better because it gives you damage up on the room you use it in, but it gives you a blue heart, not a black heart, which in itself is less valuable, I feel. So we've got another item room to find, and well, there goes the black heart we just got from the second secret room, and the first secret room to find. Let's ignore that happened, although on the plus side, our rage is now max, and we just got four keys. So that would have been a natural double key drop there, and then... Oh wait, no, hang on. Humbling bundle and contract from below stack, right? So they're doubling the doubles. That's really good, if that is the case. I want another drop to happen so I can confirm that. Am I getting double doubles? Come on, give me a coin to test this. That must be it, right? It, mu it must be. Someone drop a coin or something just so I can see. All oh, right, you're retarded types. Also piss off and poke your head up, etc. I'm gonna go kill the other one. There, that's what you did. I killed your friend. Poke your head up, Jesus Christ. No drops. Nice to know our luck is still shit. In spite of that, though. Yeah, we're getting double doubles. That's amazing. So even though we have a poor drop rate, when stuff does drop, it's going to be beautiful. Four keys instead of one. Same with bombs, I guess. And money as well. Although it is barely accounting for the fact we're getting nothing at present. Yeah, there we are. Four instead of one. I wonder if the order I got them in changes anything. If I got Contract from Below first and then got Humbling Bundle, would we still be seeing the same thing? Ooh, Rubber Cement, rare. Bouncing Tears. Yeah, that is a very rare item for me and also, in my opinion, very good. And I guess we're just going to leave now. I know there's a couple of rooms I haven't cleared. Uh, there could be an arcade. How much money did I come down with? Yeah, I came down with a lot. Let's look for an arcade. Oh, and the secret room. I forgot. This is going to be fun. 
Yeah, we'll go in here. Oh, we could have got in for free. Guppy's paw. I'm not ready to go full spirit heart. Health down. I'm ready to go full spirit heart. Sadly, I don't have a bomb. Oh wait, unless there's... Nope, just a lot of money. Oh wait, I left that bomb in the shop, didn't I? Alright, well we'll go to get the bomb, then go back in the curse room. Blow up that chest, maybe get ourselves a... I don't want bombs around head. We'll get ourselves a... What's it usually in bomb chest? I was going to say there that I've completely forgotten. I don't remember. Oh, uh, goat's head. Goat's head. To force my way into deals with the devil. Come on, goat's head. Or that. That is absolutely fine too. Cricket's head, damage up. We are... Well, right now we've got max rage, so our shots are like gigantic. When we go down to the next floor, they will shrink, but we're still going to be doing good damage. Now, where was that room with spikes I accidentally walked into? Not yet. Soon though. Yeah, okay. Still got enough money to make the next floor worthwhile. Well, how's our time doing? We could get to boss rush because this was a double floor. Do I need it for Samson? Should I start speeding up? I don't know. I can't teleport out of it anyway, so if I went in, I'd have to fight it. We're doing this though because we're working towards Guppy. I'm just going to do all the trick shots in the world ever. Could teleport out the boss rush now. Well, that's all the black hearts I'll need. Thank you. No, I want this one. Hey, come on, damn your invincibility. So that's a telepill, yeah. No, I, I would fight Boss Rush if I did get into it because I think I need it for Samson. I'm honestly not sure. I could check by leaving the game and then going back in. I've not done Boss Rush in a while, so even if it was bad for the run, I still wouldn't mind fighting it. Let's keep the timer up to remind me I am kind of trying to go quick here. Anytime I get hit, that actually helps matters. Trick shot, trick shot, trick shot. Urgh. And of course I then subsequently get a bunch of rooms where they're designed to slow me down. This one, not so much. This one, yes. Another one. Yeah, and another one. Oh! Alright, we're just going to use those two two of diamonds to get all the money we need. And I don't need to use Satanic Bible until I'm hit. Alright. Thank you for giving me more damage. Um, don't, well, I could get this actually. Yeah, let's do it. Should have placed that a bit better in case the secret room is there, but never mind. Right, we spent a bomb and a key to get four keys. Four candles. That is a very good deal. Ow. All right. Oh, we can get into the shop for free. Uh, well, we have the money to spend, so why not? Did I just buy a battery? Oh, wait, no, the battery gives you a charge, yes. So let's try for Magic Mushroom. I would take it. Liberate Cap. Yeah, Picky Eye isn't really doing much for us. Oh, why? <laughs> Paralysis. Okay, so we've got another 40 hour energy pill, but I'm going to take I Can See Forever. the creep. Is that two telepills? That's too bad gas. Also, look at the money we just got from those chests. Even though one of them was black. Oh, we have compass effect. Thank you, Liberty Cap. Item room is down in the next room. Now. Let's hurry more speed. I am willing to miss the item room on the next floor to get boss rush because you get a choice of four, then you get another Harlequin baby. It's fine. Then you get another one afterwards, so you're still net positive. Unless, of course, the item room had, like, Mom's knife in it or something. Thank you, Minimush. So the second secret room is here, eh? Speed down, I can see forever, telepills for air energy. And the boss was connected to this. I think I just missed a tenant drop there as well. Flies, don't mess me. I'm going to just keep going. 
I have the momentum. Just keep going. Hurt me, I dare you. All right then. Turn photo. Perfect. Krampus. No. Don't have time to check them. Just go. An Impura card would have been great, but sadly not. I can see forever immediately. Now, hopefully, the compass effect will kick in, so I know which direction to go. Don't be black. Uh, red chests. Ah, damn. Well, if I don't make it to boss rush, I will go in there. Now, this is just a piss off right here. Although, thankfully, <laughs> he died pretty easily. Come on, compass effect, kick in. I need to know which way to go. Probably through the big room. I see the tenant drop, but I can't get to it. Ooh, little shits. Oh, it doesn't even kill them. It puts it down into second phase. Damn it. If we get to Mom, I could kill it in a minute. But we'd have to get there, like, right now. I'd have to get an Emperor card in this room, I feel. And this is a room that's going to take me a little while. Yeah, make me stronger. Make me stronger. Oh, you died. Ugh, oh, nothing but rooms to slow me down. Give me an Emperor card. Boy, he's chicken. Oh, there's our final item room. Also, that probably should have hit me. Nope. Oh, I should probably use it to take it out of the rotation. Blah, 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 blah. Give me Rotten Baby for the room. Can't get that. So I went in entirely the wrong direction. I can't kill Mom this fast, I feel. Unless I find a Chaos card. Oh, stop giving me these rooms, please. Emperor? Shit. Well, now I could teleport out of Boss Rush if I wanted to. Please, with how that went. Boss? Ooh, something pissed the dog off. Alright, we missed Boss Rush. So now I should probably go back to that boss trap room and do, the, do it for the, the red chest and whatnot. But you know what, since I'm at the boss, I'm going to fight the boss and then I will teleport out with the full card because there's plenty of other pills on the stage I can use. Let's see how fast it would have taken us. So, we're starting at like 2018. Yeah, we would have, we would have needed like a solid dairy. It's red mom, so we actually kind of lucked out there. Oh, unless she just decides never to attack, in which case we'd need like 40 seconds. Alright, no deal with the devil, eh? see about that. Hey, that was a perfect place to put it. I forgot the full card push you where you start. Look at that money. So it says uh, dips too, right? Yep. Also, should probably pay more attention. Ah, of course, that's another good reason for doing that is I now have invincibility every time I get hit. That should have hit me for absolute sure. I mean, it did hit me. Put it that way. <laughs> but the game said no. Alright, so, we will go have a look in the arcade now as well. We have to find our item room and shop. So, uh, sorry, just our shop, which is over on the left, somewhere. I will have to swing by the secret room as well to find a better pill. Uh, let's just blow them up. Alright, oh, yeah, so, so that's a health up pill because we got a health down. Or rather, it was a health down, but because we have no health, it's a health up. Do I want to use that with only one more deal with the devil remaining? I don't think so, because even if it's tri uh, triple spirit heart deals, that's fine, thanks to the satanic bible. So nope, we're not using that. What was this? Another full card. I'll take that for now, although we have these in here. Bad gas. I can see forever. Tears down. I can see forever is coming with me. And there's our final, uh, yeah, final shop right down here. Whoops. The battery dropped anyway, so no, no. Don't be greed. We have max money, for goodness sake. Don't be greed. Alright. The stopwatch. Well, we've already basically won. This is going to guarantee it. Starter deck gets rid of our pills, which is... interesting. Yeah, for funsies. Let's do it. So it gave me a card against humanity, and it changed my other card into a joker. Are they both cards against humanity? Yeah. I wonder why they weren't switching. Oh, hang on. We'll just uh, do this, and get all the money I'll never need. I could donate to... Oh, we've got an eternal heart. Avoid that like the plague. I 
I could do it again. Like, you know, find a bigger room, use... Don't take the turn of heart, there we are. Use card against humanity like in here and then go get pit five poop again. I don't care. I don't want eternal hearts. If we were in dire straits, that could have turned the run around on its own though. That is worth pointing out. Anyway, let's go beat the rest of the game. No deal with the devil is sucky, so I'm glad I got rid of my red hearts when I did. Oh, my hand cramped up a bit there again. Too much gaming. Alright, so we want to look for the compass effect kicking in so that we can get to the boss nice and quick. If you didn't, didn't see the first time I got stopwatch after unlocking it, it's like broken stopwatch except it works with 100% guarantee. Every room will be slowed down. It's it's easy, easy mode and at the time of me recording this, the run where I first got it hasn't quite gone live I think, so I haven't heard like what are people's opinions on it. Does it make the game too easy? It certainly seems to me like it makes it too easy, but that could just be exactly what you need at times. Eh. Ah. The ability to fly, but it would give me an eternal heart. Alright. We're going to lose our invincibility, but... If only blood banks still worked like they used to, where they took eternal hearts first, if you, even if you had spirit hearts. Anyway, I guess I'm banking on the final deal with the devil having... Oh, wait, no, it'll still be spirit hearts, though, because it doesn't come into play until the next floor. Damn. Well, because of Satanic Bible, and because we're getting double drops, I think even if I'm not getting invincible every time I get hit, we're still okay. More than okay. Max money! Hooray! Also max power. He got his name from a hairdryer. Did he say a hairdryer? It's been a long time since I saw that episode of The Simpsons. But if it was a hairdryer, I would... Homer have a hairdryer, he's bald. We're getting deep into conspiracy here. Ah, thank you Curse of the Maze. So there is a curse room on this floor, I am just going to ignore it and aim for the boss. That first one's a champion. That's the one negative to stopwatch. Because everything is kind of like that pale white colour, you can't tell just from a glance what's a champion and what's not. You have to look for them being a bit bigger than the average enemy. The Horseless Headless Horseman! Hooray! The piss off here is, if I wanted to I could have taken the pony and had the ability to fly, although granted I would lose my spacebar item. So it wasn't going to be deals for anything, eh? Okay. Joker card? Two of diamonds. Funny joke. Devil card? Alright. And with that we'll go down and sadly get one red HP. Watch as it ruins my invincibility before your very eyes. What's our damage like with, yeah, even with Outrageous claiming max, so our damage is great. Brr, brr. There's not much else to say about this run now, is there? It's, it's a win. Even before I got Stopwatch, although now, oh that's a champion in the middle there. Now that I have Stopwatch, it's, it's basically a guarantee. Coupled with getting a lot of batteries and our luck generally improving. But that's okay. There's still room for fun stuff to happen if I could get my hands on Dad's key in the chest. This time. Tried to do that last time and sadly just didn't get lucky. I would take on Mega Satan. We're not so powerful that that would be a, an easy fight. Blue Baby? Yeah, we've won against Blue Baby. Burkano companionship we'll just use. We've won against him. Against Mega Satan. I'm probably tanky enough in the sense that I can just replenish some lost HP and every time I do get hit I'll get more damage. That Yeah, I'd probably win, but I don't think it's as guaranteed. Blue Baby at this point is a guaranteed kill. And the compass effect just is not kicking in. Although it doesn't matter because I found it lives anyway. So, nur nur game, nur nur. Alright, it lives. You're super slow. Your shots probably won't even stretch the full distance as a result. Let's test. Will they disappear before they reach me? Yes, most of them. Not quite all of them, but most of them. That's very handy. <laughs> very, very handy. It also makes this part very easy. You dare summon slow enemies on me? Oh, your beams still move quite fast, though. That just shows how fast they are normally. 
a shame we didn't get an Emperor card because I wouldn't have minded just you know gunning through the cathedral to the bit that matters, the chest and what we might find there. Oh, compass effect. He's in the bottom left. Right. Probably not this way then. Goodbye, Greed. Two eternal arts because they doubled up. I don't need more red HP. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. And then let's wimp out. Because I can. So as I was saying, I don't want the steam sale either, but whatever. So down and to the left-ish. Ah, damn. All right, all the way to the left and then down. Yeah, we're not killing everything super fast here because we haven't had our rage build up. Yeah, it must be to the left and then down. Unless it's, like, really winding. Which it could be. That's happened before. Oh, it's little bitty blue ones. <laughs> Poor sod. Ted Rock, I wouldn't mind getting small rock at this late stage. Oh, okay. A couple of spare hearts is good too. If I deliberately wanted to get myself hit to make Isaac easier. It's not a bad idea, actually. Although I'm assuming that I'll get naturally hit sooner or later. This way and down? Ooh, it's still going left. I'm not sure about this. Gemini, piss off. You're nothing to me. Look at you! Look at that! You can't... Oh, it's such a shame. Broken remote? No. Teleports you randomly every time you use your spacebar item. Well, it's not random how it kicks in, but it teleports you to a random place. That's what I meant. Poor old monstro. Rubber cement doesn't show up nearly enough. It's a very fun item. So then, south. Oh! Hagalaz. Meh. Judgment. Demon judgment. Uh, oh, right. That was silly. I was expecting him to take half a red heart. I don't have the wafer. Why did I think I had the wafer? I guess because everything was going my way, so I thought, oh, I've got everything. I've got Holy Mantle. I've got Mom's Knife. Sure. Just tell yourself you do and you play better. Placebo effect. It works. If you want it to. I think this will lead to him. I've killed a disturbingly large amount of Monstro 2s this run. And I imagine that number is going to go up when we get... Why would I walk into his beam? <laughs> when we get to the chest. Do I use the Devil card on Isaac? We have been hit a few times. Let's see our damage. He is slowed as well, so his shots actually can't reach me, so I don't think there's a need. Yeah, look at that. They're, you're perfectly positioned that the shots will trail off before he can even hit you. Now, the random beams, they might hit me. But, yeah, I'm just going to stand here until he gets to final form, then I'll have to move. But not very much. They should reach me. Yeah. Oh! He went into that pretty quick. You little shit. Oh, because I'm doing enough damage to knock him straight into it, that's why. Big fan, save me! No, my speed's very good. <laughs> and he's going to get one more teleport. Ah! It sometimes hits down there, but luckily it didn't. Alright, there's Isaac dead. Let's see what fate awaits us in the chest. Not fate, obviously, because we have it, but still. And given that I've already ruined my invincibility, if there's an HP up item, I might as well take it. Epicac, an HP up item. Uh, this gives you HP up as well, right? Yeah, that's... Oh, wait, no, that's the one that gives you a bunch of spirit harps. How does Epicac work with rubber cement? This is dangerous, right? Yeah, it bounces before it explodes. Does that include contact with an enemy, though? No, thankfully. But if it hits off a wall, it does. That's very silly. Jesus! <laughs> Alright, I made things more difficult on myself, but also more fun. What else did I leave back there? Oh yeah, HP, so if I don't have a charge and I'm missing a lot of hearts, I might as well just get it. Oh, I can do trick shots as well, I can ricochet. I mean, with stopwatch, it's it's fine. I can pick and choose when I fire, but I'm just going to be a little bit careful, that's all. Alright then. 
Oh, I guess because I have rubber cement as well, I can't... Don't do that. I can't use Ipecac to try and find secret rooms, right? Because it would just bounce off the walls. That's actually a negative of this synergy. Not to mention the whole bouncing off a wall to kill you thing. I do have the... I have the wafer fight now after I take one bit of damage in a room. That's what Cancer does. That plus a bunch of spare hearts. That could be the dog barking at the postman. I'm recording this quite early in the day. I also may have to answer the door, so if I do, I apologise. Although that's not happy barking, so I'm not so sure about that. Oh wait, no, it turned to happy barking. We'll see. I might have to answer the door. Let me take off my headset for a second. Uh, he's not here yet. If I'm really quick, I could finish the run first. Die faster. Got quite a bit of raid build up, don't I? So that should be helping. Have I went the right way? I hope I have. Oh, you're still alive. Just be very careful. Screw you. Bad hitboxes. Right, she's calmed down, although that could just mean that she's lost sight of me. Ah. <laughs> Hey, we've got items. Chemical peel and X-ray specs. Good. Yeah, this could be the right way. A couple of dingles guarding it. It's the type of guard that Blue Baby would have. He's got bad taste in bodyguards. Damn. I shouldn't have said that. Well, two chads, there is nothing to worry about. Don't spawn stuff when I'm about to kill you. Look at her face. Still think I might be on the right track. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, Lord, or nope. Oh, God, you're in here as well? Oh, good, another Steam sale. Give me an Emperor card. Ugh, it's two of the same as well. Well, hang on. Emperor plus this? Eh, that's pretty cool. I should have saved that for a harder room. Oh, wow. Oh, good. It's the room with all the monsters. Not Monster 2s, though, so it's okay. But I'm sick of him. These shots are taking... Our shots are getting bigger every time I take damage. We're not quite at max rage yet because we're not red enough. Oof, nearly. <clears throat> yeah, sure. We've been at max money forever. Hey, we found it. Good. Uh, pins? Yeah. Pins who break when you have stopwatch, apparently. Quickly looking here. No. Let's win! Devil card. And we'll just kind of stand here and the shot shouldn't reach me either. We'll just hold the button down. Yeah, we're going to win. Well, that was a given, really. Hippocac and rubber cement at the end. Very fun. If you enjoyed, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see daily gaming stuff. From me, Flake, Blue Baby Dies. I'm finishing my outro. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. See you then. Ta-ta. For now.